using virtual reality in a stunning new way. Biology students at ASU putting their skills to a unique test. It's part of the school's new online biology degree, taking lab work out of the classroom. ABC 15's Cameron Fulham's in Tempe telling us more about this new technology. The future of biology learning can be found inside these VR goggles, immersing students in critical lab work without leaving the comfort of their couch. I've put on my lab coat and gloves. Now I'm tasked with identifying genetic mutations that determine the sex of worms. I have access to microscopes, a centrifuge, and an entire lab all produced in virtual reality. The learning goal there is to put science into practice, and a lot of that happens in here. Michael Angeletta is helping spearhead ASU's first fully online biology degree. The biggest challenge, getting students the required lab work without having to come to campus. Recent studies show that when students were trained to do this sort of activity in VR, they were just as effective at going into the lab and doing it for real. The answer is now yes, the School of Life Sciences partnered with Labster and Google to give 30 students the opportunity to try it out. People are already working on technologies. In fact, there's an engineer at ASU working on the technology of putting a glove on and being able to feel uh, responses in that, right? She says the application can one day be used for history majors to go back in time to see the past firsthand. But are virtual labs giving students the training they need when they enter the real world? Can we send students to Antarctica to do experiments on organisms they'll never see in their lives? Can we send them to a lab that doesn't exist, that has like millions of dollars of equipment that they would never get to play with, right, in, in a teaching lab? A different route getting the same results. He says in the future, students will have access to even more powerful technology that will also allow them to feel the equipment even when it's not there. Once we show that there's this potential for education, um, it's going to take off. In Tempe, I'm Cameron Polam, ABC 15 Arizona.